Well, I want to talk about uh, Lillian Lovecraft and the Harmless Horrors, available now, esteemed audience. You could be uh, uh, purchasing it on your phone or whatever device you're listening to us on. Um, I want to talk about that, and I want to talk about your transition from traditionally published author now to, I think, hybrid author. Is that an accurate description? Yeah, hybrid is probably good. Still working on it. So my first two books were traditionally published through Crown Books for Young Readers. Um, and I still, you know, I still have other, an agent who's been pushing other books around. We have a book we're pushing right now, trying to get things going. But um, meanwhile, Lillian Lovecraft was a book, a story that's very near and dear to my heart that lots of people, uh, publishers would read and they'd say, we really like the writing. We just have no idea what to do with this. So we're not, we're going to pass. Like everyone liked it, but no one would know how to market it. So I finally said, you know what, I want this to show life. So I decided that I'm going to put it out there myself because uh, it's, a, it's a, such a wonderful story. Um, includes some of the characters that I beloved more than anything. Um, show you, you the, the cover. You can see the cover here. Uh, this is Frank, and he's the star, as far as I'm concerned. Lillian's the star, of course. But Frank is the sh steals the sh uh, show for me. Um, and so I wanted to get him. In fact, my mother's building it is creating a uh, plush Frank for me. So I'll have a, a stuffed animal of Frank when I can go to places. I'm really looking forward to that. It'll be very exciting. Um, but yeah, so I decided to go the independent route, self-publishing route for this one. And to see how it works. Uh, I have, I know people, you know, you hear people that they make $100,000 or more a year, they make all this money, uh, independent publishing. I have a friend. I do know somebody who makes a very good living self-publishing. Now, they self-publish uh, erotica, uh, which is not what I do, uh, but it's all them, and uh, they make plenty of money. And so I, you know, they've got lots of books. That's the key is to have a large number of books. But I want to see if I can make that uh, work on my end. While we're still trying to push some stories out traditionally, I have a backlog, a large backlog of stories that I want to get out uh, that I'm going to try to do uh, independently and see how that works.